Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. On May 27th, we celebrate the Feast of the Holy Trinity. We celebrate that our God is three persons in one. Whenever we make the sign of the cross, we invoke the name of our God. And the signing of the cross comes from today's gospel, which is the end of Matthew. Jesus says to the disciples and to us, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Trinity is not some mathematical puzzle we have to solve, how one plus one plus one equals one God. Rather, the Trinity is our home. We come from God and we return to God. We are made for God. So I think about a GPS in my car. When I buy a GPS and put it in my car, I put in, first of all, my home address so I know how to get back. So no matter where I am in the country or the world, I can just hit go home and the GPS will take me back home. Whenever I make the sign of the cross, I think of that image because in a sense, the signing of the cross is hitting go home to my spiritual life. We are made to live in the Trinity. We are made to live in the middle of God's life. God wants to be known. We know from the Bible that God reveals to us who God is. We have a God who's not hiding. We have a God who's trying to find us and tell us about who God is. The great revelation of God is the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ. So I think sometimes we think the spiritual life is the opposite. God is hiding and I have to say my prayers and novenas and rosaries and maybe I'll find God and God's will. Rather, the biblical revelation is the opposite. We have a God who's trying to find us, a God who is seeking us and will go anywhere in order to find us and save us. That's God's great rescue operation. Traditionally, we talk about God as being omniscient, which means all-knowing. God is um, all-powerful, omnipotent, and God is all everywhere. Well, the biblical revelation, I think, tells us something different. God is all-giving. God is the gift giver. And in fact, God gives away God's very self. That's what we find in the gift of Jesus Christ. We see that when Jesus gives himself to us at the Last Supper and on the cross. And also we see that at the Feast of Pentecost where God gives us his very own spirit. God gives and gives and gives. John chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that God gave. See, that's the nature of God. You and I are made in that same image and likeness, so we only find ourselves by a sincere giving of ourself. The spiritual law is you hoard and you die, or you give and you live. Lastly, the word omnipotent, the root of that word is the word for potential. Our God not only is all-powerful, but our God is all-potential. He has the potential to hold everything. That means that God can hold our greatest hopes, and God can also hold the most broken part of our life, the saddest thing we have. That's why we bring it all to God. We have a God who wants to be known, and a God who wants to hold us. When you are held by God, you find out who you are. The Father laughs and the Son comes about. The Son laughs and the Spirit comes about. All three of them laugh together, and we come about. Have a great Feast of the Trinity.